Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook, Sandbrook Adventures. Adventures, where it's time for the fifth and final travel vlog of our USA road trip. Of course, if you haven't already, head over to Theme Park Worldwide, where you can see all of the different vlogs we've filmed from all the different theme parks we've done this trip. 25 parks in total, and we're on to the final five parks now. I can't believe we're on to the final five. Like for us, it feels like it's gone so fast. Yeah, just been seeing new things each and every day. It's been an incredible journey, and we've loved giving you a bit of a behind the scenes look um, here on this channel. Well, we've just wrapped up at fun spot atlanta and we've got the biggest single drive of the trip now um, it's like three o'clock and um, we're not probably going to get there till maybe eight o'clock this evening we're driving up um to carowinds tonight uh, and yeah this is a 268 mile drive oh. going to take about four and a half hours we're going to stop for some food we may see some other things to stop at along the way we'll but see. yeah it's going to be a longer one this but luckily we're doing it in the afternoon and early evening instead of like at night this one it's worse when you're doing it all at night because you're tired so it's not too bad because it's going to be light yeah it was planned into the itinerary for it to be like a kind of a few hours short day at fun spot uh, we've been here like three and a bit hours and then yeah got on the road which is uh, what we're going to do now so of course if we see anything along the way we'll show you that and i tell you what i am sweating oh, so Ooh, it is hot let's get the ac on and let's get on the road well we just have a little stop at mcdonald's and yeah had some mcnuggets charlotte had a burger didn't you yeah no. it just took ages <laughs> yeah they forgot charlotte's order so i they? had to go up and they had to pay me another one. Oh no but uh, anyway we've uh, filled up there as well we've got a full tank of gas and yeah we're on the road so we did about 90 minutes or so of the journey and we had some really bad traffic didn't we it was literally just stop start so many crashes yeah. it was awful oh, i've never seen so many cars that all like kind of crashed and all scratched and all that kind of stuff um but yeah that was just like on the outskirts of atlanta luckily we're past that now and uh, yeah we're looking like a straight run we're 197 miles away from the hotel which is very close um, to carowinds we're literally just around the corner which is fantastic and uh yeah we're on this road now straight for 184 miles it's a 70 mile an hour road um so yeah we should be able to get some good time now get some good speed down here and literally just follow it all the way along so i don't really think we're going to get to see much to show you along the way because it was a very boring kind of interstate road um, yeah, we're just following this now for 184 miles and we've got 197 as the total journey and saying goodbye to georgia and welcome to south carolina as we can see with the sign just over there and yeah another one of them visitor centers just over there too yeah they tend to have those you yeah, enter into the different states oh look at this sign it's got my name on it hey charlotte, charlotte. Look at that giant apple over there. Wow, that's massive. I think it's an apple, isn't it? Yeah, it, looks, it looks like an yeah, apple. It looks like, look at the size of that. I could literally just eat that right now. I could. I, I did enjoy my grapes that we had uh, the other night, but uh, yeah, look at that. I love apples. No, that is massive. That is. It's not hard to tell from a distance, but there we go. We'll get a bit of a better. That is huge. Look at that giant apple. It is definitely an apple. It is an apple. Love yeah, that, that. That is incredible. It must be like an apple farm or something just over there. Love that. Love the sort of thing you find like that in America. It's actually a water tower, but yeah, it's amazing. Made, it like made an into apple. an apple. It's looking a bit stormy out there now. It is looking a bit grey. Journey's going well there. We've got an ETA of quarter past eight. Um, yeah, 51 minutes to go, 57 miles. Here we go. There's the park. And yeah, we're staying literally at the Quality Inn at the park. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's just a right turn here. Is it make our way in? Oh, I'm really excited for Carowinds tomorrow. I was awesome. very happy. We've just drove past Charlotte's Premium Outlets. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only a few miles out of Charlotte itself. Here we go. We're going to, uh, yeah, get pulled in now into the hotel. Well, it's been a long drive, but it's 8.15 and we've made it here to our hotel. Quality Inn at the park. And yeah, they say at the park because it's literally just over there and yeah when we was pulling in you could see fury 325 and lots of the other rides but yeah i tell you what it's very quiet at this hotel look at this there's like five cars on the parking lot let's get inside oh that's got to be the funniest check-in of the trip so far the guy who checked it in he was just hilarious wasn't oh, it was it? so funny it was just like if you've got any pets you're gonna get 150 oh it was just so funny then we walked up he was like sean sean come back yeah come back i need your address and then we said oh here's our address we're from the uk he's like but what's your address whilst you're here i was yeah, like well it, this is our address it was, a, it was just a really <laughs> funny guy it was, oh, it was but here we go here's the room a bit more more on this one so you can see with the headboard and the lamps and stuff at the side massive king bed just over here 
And yeah, we're very close to the park. It's just gone like 8.30. So uh, yeah, park opens at 10 tomorrow. We've got a good 12 hour day. So we're really fresh, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, we don't have a smoke alarm. Uh, oh no. Oh God, yeah. Let's hope there's not a fire then, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, TV, microwave, fridge just over there desk area and the AC units. Something else we just wanted to mention about, because we've seen a few comments, was the breakfast, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, so a lot of people said, have you not showed breakfast? But really all it's been is cereal. But the guy down at reception was like, it's a hot breakfast in the morning, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's mostly continental, the isn't it? Very it light. It's just been cereal and like a bit of bread. And, and that's a it. lot of the time, they don't actually have a seating area. It's just grab and go, really, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, it's only the odd occasion that there's been a seating area, but it's literally just for like cereal and juice. Yeah, there's been a few muffins at some places as well which has been good ironing board just over there this is weird because it's like a really big it's space very big, isn't it? yeah not too sure on that yeah a bit different here's a look in the bathroom we've only got i think what four more hotels i think we've yeah, got we've got a few where we've got two nights at them yeah so there you go not many room tours no left. not many left now but we've documented them all for you to show you here on the sandbrook adventures and yeah we'll get a bit of footage in the morning as we drive literally around the corner onto the carowinds parking lot Good morning! Had a great sleep then last night and here we are literally just a half a mile drive and we're here at Cowins. Look at the skyline. What a great view. As we make our way in, yeah, all the fantastic coasters that we've got to enjoy here today. Yeah, this is the 21st park. I can't believe it. trip today, like crazy, but uh, here we go. Another great view of the skyline coming up. Wow. Just over here. Look at that. There's Fury 325. And yeah, what's unique about this park is actually built on the state line uh, between North Carolina and South Carolina, which is quite interesting. But uh, there we go. We've got quite a drive coming up though down to our next park. Um, so we're doing about an hour and a half drive tonight after this park shuts at 10. And then in the morning we've got a good uh, three hour run to Bush Gardens Williamsburg. We've got an early start. Yeah, we've not really had too many early starts have we, this trip. No, so. we haven't. So that would be the first like, early one. I do love these big uh, entrances into the parking lots just here. And with this being a Cedar Fair park, of course, we get our parking for free. But yeah, we'll see you all later on for another room tour. You've arrived at your Here destination. Carowinds. Well, what a fantastic day we've had at Carowinds. And of course, if you head over to Theme Park Worldwide, you'll be able to see our vlog from the park. And yeah, it was amazing. We had some brilliant rides there at the end on Fury 325, of course, that you can see beautifully lit up here from the car park. Anyway, back into the car then. Now we've got about an hour and 20 minute drive to our accommodation. So yeah, we'll get a little bit of footage on the way if there's anything to see. Of course, it is at night. It's just gone like 10, 15. Uh, but yeah, we should be at the hotel before midnight tonight. Right then, so we're all checked in. 20 past 12, it was a long check in this oh, one. it just took so long. Ages, but uh, yeah, we're at the days in tonight. And uh, yeah, here's a little look at the room. Got the sofa over there, very old school. Big bed, desk area. Microwave, you know the score by now. <laughs> They're getting short of these room tours. Only a few more left. Look at the bathroom in here. Yeah, it's massive. But yeah, we've got a very early start in the morning to make our way down to Bush Gardens, very Williamsburg. Early start. So we're going to get some sleep and we'll see you all in the morning. Oh, look at that. The sun's starting to rise up for another day of our USA road trip with only a few days left to go. And yeah, early start this morning. The uh, least amount of sleep that we've had so far this trip that was last night, wasn't it? Oh, I'm tired this morning. Oh, well, the park opens at 10 a.m. It's now 5.50 and we're doing the long drive um, to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. But uh, luckily, this is the only one uh, where, you know, we've not had loads of sleep. Um, but we're just going for it and uh, yeah, we're going to be there for 9.33, about 25 minutes prior to park opening. So yeah, we've got a 260 mile journey this morning, uh, quite a long way. Um, yeah, one of the biggest drives of the trip, not the biggest, that was the other day, but yeah, one of uh, the longest this morning. But so uh, we've got on the road and of course we'll get any footage along the way. While the drive's going really well so far, yeah, nice and quiet on the roads this morning, which is great. As we make our way into yet another state, welcome to Virginia. Well, it was going so well, but we've broken down, Sean. I can't believe it. So we're on the way to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, about 90 minutes away from the park. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, an error message came up on the dashboard just saying to um, pull over engine overheating. So we pulled up. Um, we've been here for about 20 minutes or so now and yeah, we're just letting the engine cool down. We've actually tried ringing the roadside and assistance. It, it doesn't work from our phone. It doesn't work from our phone, so it's one of those. We may have, I hope we have a sheriff is going to come past. I've been trying to see oh, one to wave yeah. them down. Yeah, but uh, at the moment our day at Bush Gardens today is in jeopardy, so we'll give you any updates, but yeah, not looking good. 
Right then, got a bit of an update for you. 90 minutes later, we're still here at the side of Interstate 85 by Exit 39 in Virginia in the direction of Richmond. I can't believe I it. I cannot believe we are still here. <laughs> anyway, here's an update for you in terms of what's just happened over the past kind of 90 minutes. Uh, the only number that we could actually ring from our mobile phone was 911. So we decided um, to ring 911. Uh, we did that and uh, yeah, literally we spoke with a lady on there who was lovely. She said that an officer has been dispatched to come down however in the meantime uh, an officer was already coming past weren't they so he put his lights on and he came and stopped for us and helped us out he was fantastic and obviously he lent us his phone and um, so we could call the car hire company and we were on the phone for like 40 minutes there 40 to 45 oh. minutes it just took so long like it should be a case of something gets <laughs> dispatched out and we can go yeah the roadside assistance wasn't great from budget this is uh, i've never really had any problems with them before but i've never broke down in one of their vehicles but anyway we've now found out that someone's on the way down here potentially in the next another 90 minutes we could be waiting they're going to take us off the road we're then going to have to actually get everything out the car into an uber that's going to then take us to richmond airport um, and then we're going to get a new hire car uh, richmond airport from where we are is about a 50 mile drive uh, unfortunately today is pretty much it's, gone for us i think right yeah it's not good so obviously we're then going to have to make some decisions about what we do theme park wise we are towards the end of the trip you know what do we prioritize do we skip a park do we swap some days around? Luckily, King's Dominion uh, and Busch Gardens Williamsburg are all very close. Do we swap some days? Well, it all depends on what happens over the next few hours. But we'll keep you updated. Can't believe this one. Oh, no, I can't believe Things it. have been going so well, but at least we're safe, we're fine. We spoke with a, a sheriff who was fantastic. Uh, he's actually gonna come back um, in about an hour. He says he'll call back again just to check we're okay down here. We've got plenty of water, we've got some supplies. We're in the shade. Um, it could be worse, but yeah, let's just see what happens. There it goes, after three and a half weeks, saying goodbye to the hire car. We've been dropped off one mile down the road at a truck stop gas station just here. And we've been told from the hire car company and Uber will be coming to pick us up from here. The car hire company has just been an absolute <laughs> joke. It's not great at all. The service has been terrible. Yeah, it has been terrible service, but let's just see what happens. We're now here somewhere in Virginia without a hire car, uh, about a 50 minute drive from Richmond Airport. We've got all of our Luggage just over here, as and you can see. To the, to the man who <laughs> the car, the car hire isn't even open on Sunday, so God knows what we're going to do. We'll see what happens. It's, anything is possible at this stage. Like the next few days, this could change the last few days of the trip. We don't know at this moment in time, but we're currently here. We're standing in some shade. We've got some food here um, if we need to get some. But yeah, let's just hope an Uber arrives, and hopefully this Uber's got room for all of this stuff. Not great. Well, I can't believe it. It's actually been one hour since that last clip. We're still sat here four hours after we first broke down just on the road one mile away and yeah of course the car went over an hour ago that's probably back at the airport by now and uh, yeah we were told by budget car hire that an uber would be coming to pick us up and take us to richmond airport that hasn't happened yet charlotte's currently on the phone just inside she's been in there about 10 minutes so far we thought we need to give a bit of time first to see if the uber's actually going to arrive because we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere around here and uh, i actually tried 20 minutes ago to just order an uber uh, myself on there i thought well i'll just you know pay them costs and uh, charge them back to budget um you know as a complaint later on but uh yeah i actually tried to order an uber and none could be found in the area and i had it on for 15 minutes searching so yeah as it currently stands we are stranded here but luckily at least we've got food we've got restrooms um, we've got a bit of shade just over here there's ac inside um but yeah not a great situation it's now like 12 30 we've been broke down for over four hours and, and yeah since that happened it's it's not great but charlotte's on the phone um speaking to them now like and, and hopefully something will get sorted out but uh, if there's no ubers available i mean they're gonna have to drive down here with a new hire car or something like that and pick us up but then how will they get back or i don't know or come and pick us up take us to the airport we'll see what happens but yeah today is looking like a lost cause we might have to lose a park of the trip sadly which is really sad obviously today we should have been at bush gardens williamsburg uh, and tomorrow king's dominion um, but what we might have to do is possibly drop king's dominion because obviously i'd, I'd take um going to bush gardens over that because there's new things for me to see there and not at king's dominion so yeah we'll see what happens but charlotte 
Scott's on the phone there now, bless her, just kind of speaking to them, trying to sort it out. Um, but these things happen, you know, on trips. These things happen, we document them. But yeah, this isn't a great situation. We're pretty much stranded out here. It's 33 degrees Celsius. Um, it, it's not ideal, it's not ideal, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we don't really want to go and sit inside both of us because, you know, if the Uber does come, you know, uh, we, we need to be outside here. We've got all our cases, all our luggage. Yeah, so not great. We should have been at Bush Gardens, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Not good. And also, you might be wondering why we didn't just go in the tow truck with the guy who was heading to the airport. Uh, that's because we weren't allowed because we had all the luggage with us just over here, which is perfectly understandable. I mean, the tow truck guy was really friendly, let us borrow his phone. Uh, the sheriff that we spoke to earlier, he was brilliant too. Um, so yeah, like they've all been great other than the actual hire car company um, budget. But yeah, Charlotte's just messaged me and she seems to be getting somewhere on the phone inside. So yeah, it's a good sign because there's certainly no sign of an Uber arriving out here. And I've just tried to get on my phone and yeah, there's none in the area to request. So one hour later, and Charlotte's back from the phone call. Right, so I had the phone call. It just took so long. So we were supposed to get an Uber to the airport, but there wasn't any. So we were, then we were going to get a lift to the airport, but there wasn't any. Now they're bringing a car on the back of a truck to us. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, in a way that works out better for us than having to go to Richmond Airport. It means we're getting the car straight away, but it's like we don't know what's coming. <laughs> or they said within an hour, so we'll see what happens. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for doing that I'm phone call there. We've got a subway. Hey. But it's just so hot sitting in the heat as well. Yeah, because we don't really want to sit inside, and we can't really, because we've got to wait for the vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what car arrives. But thanks so much, Charlotte, for oh, that. No it's the time. An hour. It's ten past two now. I can't believe it. You know, this has been ongoing for over five hours now. I honestly can't believe it. Budget has just been terrible. Yeah, it's not been great at all. We will be making a major complaint at the end, won't we? But uh, at least they're bringing a car down to us here instead of having to go to the airport. It shouldn't have really took this long, but we'll see what arrives. Well, here we go. It's now twenty-five to five in the afternoon and finally we've got our replacement hire car just here we broke down just after 8 a.m i can't believe it charlotte i cannot believe it has taken this long budget are an absolute joke <laughs> i'm just so glad we've got another so car glad. so glad that we've got it and we can just drive away we're safe we've got a car exactly. we actually went inside and sat in the ac in the end like the we, we thought we can't stay outside it's like so any longer but out here. like crazy but here we go it's we've got a car coming. It's coming down, it's a similar car to what we had before, and here it is. Let's get loaded up again. Literally got everything here. I've been editing, I've got a video on the render just here. Literally on the petrol car park here. I'm rendering a video, but we've got a car. Oh, blimey, what a day. Quarter to five, and we are finally back on the road. I'll tell you what, it's been a stressful day. We're tired, we're low on energy after that. Bear in mind, we didn't really have much sleep last night anyway because of the early start that of course we had planned into the itinerary. Then all that's happened. But the most important thing is we've got a car and of course Charlotte has spent a lot of time I've spent like two phone. hours on the phone. So well, well done Charlotte and thank you for uh, for doing that. I a mean, huge thank you to the people in the gas station that let me use the phone. They were just so kind. They were great and also the uh, Virginia police, the, the sheriff Lovely. was amazing earlier on. Um, yeah, everyone's been great other than uh, budget. However, they have sent us this car out here. It saved us having to go to the airport and we're on the road. That's the main thing. I don't really know what the car is. I can't make it out we've loaded it all up we've uh, got all the mirrors checked and everything and we're on the road because obviously we've now had to decide what to do so in terms of our accommodation for the next two nights we had a hotel booked right next door to king's dominion so today we was going to bush gardens tomorrow king's dominion so we had a hotel booked for two nights in the same location which um, is good news for us because King's Dominion and Bush are only about an hour away from each other now obviously King's Dominion has got some fantastic rides however there's only a few big kind of standouts there and the park's home till 10 o'clock tonight and we've also got a an annual pass a Cedar Fair annual pass which gets us in we're not restricted to dates yeah. going on certain days with Bush Gardens Williamsburg obviously that's quite a large park it's a theme park like there's a lot more to fit in there there's two new rides since I was there um, it's, a, it's a very impressive park that I really want to make sure we have the full day at so what I've managed to do is actually contact Bush Gardens Williamsburg they've kindly changed the tickets and everything like that for tomorrow 
so we can have the full day at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Um, we're going to head to King's Dominion right now, the sat nav programmed in. We're going to be there in one hour and 12 minutes. And just get the highlights and, in. And get the highlights in. We'll be there for 6 o'clock. The park closes 10. It gives us four hours at King's Dominion instead of what should have been a full day there tomorrow. But we swapped it round. I think it makes more sense doing what we've decided to do here. And it means we're still going to get the 25 parks. We'll get I-305. We'll get the highlight rides in. We've had a look at queue times. It's really not that busy at King's Dominion. So we'll get the highlights in as much as we can in four hours. And that's going to have to do us, unfortunately. But still, it's better than nothing. Uh, and we're safe. That's the main thing. So, yeah, we're going to keep on with this drive. Enjoy the air conditioning. Just relax for a bit. Cool off. Try and have a bit of a refresh. And we'll have a whiz round in four hours at King's Dominion. Well, the drive's going pretty well, which is good with my no issues in this car. It drives really nice. And yeah, there's a look over at Richmond, downtown just over there. All the buildings are very square there, aren't they? Yeah, they are very close together in Richmond. Yeah, Richmond sausages, that's what it reminds <laughs> we me of. We keep having a little joke about Richmond sausages. Hey, I wish we could get Richmond sausages over here, Charlotte. Oh, it'd be lovely. Yeah, less than a week to go and we can have some more Richmond sausages. Beautiful. We do miss the British food, don't we? When we're I literally miss British food so much. Like, a nice cottage pie would be so nice right now. <laughs> I love being here, but yeah, I do miss our food back home. Uh, I can't wait for, like, Greg sausage roll, oh, trip no. to weather spoons. Like, it's going with us not being like massively adventurous with food, we just like the like, the ba basics. It's supposed to be so nice to have like a home comforts again. <laughs> yeah, it will be. But uh, there you go. There's Richmond rich sausages. sausages. Uh, <laughs> any Americans watching the give what? Yeah, basically it's a brand of sausages that we get back home. I assume you're going to get them in Britain, Richmond sausages. I'm not too sure. Beautiful. But, uh, there you go. There's the skyline. And here we go, it's five to six in the evening. We've made it here to a theme park today. I can't believe it, we sat up at 5.30 this morning, Charlotte. Oh no, I oh. can't believe it. <laughs> what should have been a three hour, 45 journey um, to Bush Gardens has turned into a 13 hour day coming here to King's Dominion. But we've made it, we've got four hours to get in as much as we can do. We'll get parts up and we will see you tonight uh, after our day where we'll, uh, of course, head to our accommodation, which is very close here to the park. Well, today it may have been a bit of a disaster, but you know what? We've more than made up for it at King's Dominion, and I'll talk more about it when we get inside our room. But yeah, we've just arrived here, 10 minutes away from the park. Let's go and get checked in. Oh, I tell you what, it was nice just to have a quick, easy, simple check-in just there after what's been a pretty stressful day, but a great evening. We made the most of it, didn't we? Oh. We did indeed, but I'm so tired now. I can't wait to get in there. So yeah, we're staying here at the Quality Inn tonight in Ashford, near indeed. King's Dominion. It's quite modern, doesn't it? Yeah, I think this is probably the most modern room we've had. You've got the nice four pictures up there, two large beds just it's over here. Lovely. And yeah, also you've got the USB chargers up there too. Yeah, in terms of the AC unit, uh, I do like how it's one of the quiet ones. With it being a modern hotel, uh, it's a nice quiet one. And with how humid it's been out there, we'll probably have that on all night, to be honest. Because, yeah, it has been hot out there tonight, hasn't it? It has, so humid. Yeah, and here we go. Let's look at the desk area. Uh, perfect, which is great. Nice lamps. Nice carpet in here, too. Big TV. And just to give you a quick look in the bathroom. And then we're going to turn this camera off and have a chill out. Have a nice shower and have a good sleep. Very modern bathroom. Still got quite a small bath. They love the small baths in America, don't they? Maybe we're just used to the bigger ones back home. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, it's been a day and a half, but we've made the most of it tonight. We've got the new car. We'll give you more of a detailed tour around the car tomorrow. We just wanted to get to a park, make the most of it. And we had four hours at King's Dominion and uh, we certainly made the most of that. And the good thing is we've got this base for two nights now, haven't we, yeah, as well? Really good, so we can unpack a little bit. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning making our way to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Good night. Well, good morning. We had a nice sleep last night that we very much needed. And yeah, we've done the drive down here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Not really much to show you uh, along the way. So we didn't get any clips coming down here. Uh, just a lot of trees, really. Some nice scenery. And uh, yeah, here we go. We've arrived here. Uh, about an hour drive down to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And we've got here for 9.27, half an hour before the park opens. And imagine they're going to be opening the parking lot in just a moment. Yes, it seems like they open the car park at 9.30. So yeah, a little bit of information for if you're coming down here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And yeah, there's a look at the main entrance itself. So yeah, we'll be uh, should we making our way through in the next few minutes and we'll get parked up. And here's a look at the parking prices for you. General's $30, preferred $45 and VIP $55. When people say £7 expensive back at Alton Towers, well, it's nothing compared to that, is it? Whew, pricey parking at some of these American parks. 
And that's it, we're all parked up here. And what's quite funny is we're on the England parking lot. That's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> hey, get that sun cream on. Yeah. It's gonna be hot today. Yeah. Could possibly be stormy later on, so we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I just found that really funny. And they were like, yeah, down to the England lot. That's like, funny, that's that just perfect. It? And yeah, the main entrance to this park is England, which oh, is cool. Lovely. And of course, you'll be able to see the vlog over on theme park worldwide but yeah it's going to be a hot day very humid uh but yeah obviously later on storms may come in i hope not but they might do so we're going to get round make the most of it we've got 10 coasters to enjoy and we'll see you all later on where well, we're literally just going to be driving back to that hotel where we stayed last night um and then yeah in the morning we'll be making that drive to six flags america which is the penultimate park of our road trip i can't believe it we'll see you all later We've had a fantastic day at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I'm really pleased we spot the days round because the park was empty. We've got a great vlog over on Theme Park Worldwide. And yeah, we're back in the car. Um, it's 10 past 10 in the evening. We're making our way back to the hotel. And uh, yeah, we're actually yeah. driving through a pretty big storm. In fact, you can see loads of debris just here. We need to move quick. Uh, oh, blimey. Oh. There is a, oh, we've got major debris around here. Right, we're literally driving into a storm. I don't know if you saw that there. That was pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there was a, a massive branch in the road there. Blimey. I was not expecting that. Uh, they actually played the emergency broadcast announcement on the radio as well. The it's music like danger. Yeah, and I don't know how it's picking them on the camera or not, but in the distance, you can see you a can, lot of you flashing. You can, you can see it. A lot of flashing. I mean, I'm going to be really careful now. I've dropped the speed down quite a bit. Obviously, we've got debris oh. in the road like we saw just in that lane. It was about, it was a, a fallen tree of some form. And then obviously on the right, we had um, what it looked, looked like, like a, a canister yeah. or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're going to, obviously Charlotte will get some footage as we can. Oh my god! Unfortunately, it does look like we could actually be driving into it. We, our day hasn't been cut short at Bush, which is great. Um, we're just going to take it as easy as we possibly can yeah, to get just, back to the hotel. Yeah, this is coming tonight. I mean, yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm just glitching my eyes are just fixed on the lanes now after seeing that because obviously we had a, yeah, <laughs> a big dream right there. Literally, I can't believe that. We saw nothing. Started rolling. We're getting close into oh this, folks. We're, we're getting close. Let, let's just see what happens down here. Right, the rain started. I think we're right in the heart of this now. Obviously, trying to keep going towards the hotel because there's not much really around here. We don't want to come to a stop uh, and just kind of be exposed to this. But yeah, I think we're pretty much getting down to the heart of it. Seeing no more debris, trying to keep oh. all, trying to keep close to the car in front, but obviously not too close either. I don't want to lose his sight to the way. When you see another car in front, that's a good thing because that's a bit of a warning. He's in this lane. We know that. Um, if there was anything major in this lane, he will move out of the way. And then you got some oh. people are still whizzing down pretty fast. Like you want to take your time with, with something like this, but we don't want to stop. There's nothing really much round. We want to keep progressing in the direction of our accommodation, which is about 45 minutes away, 45 miles. Uh, oh. Literally, we're, we're in the heart of this now. The weird thing is, it's not raining loads. Um, like if we had a lightning storm back home, it would be hammering it down. And it's really not like it's raining but it's not like hammering it down it's very weird this but yeah i've never seen a lion storm like it it's actually quite scary they were talking on the radio this morning that this was going to be one of the biggest ones of the year around here in this area in virginia and that there could be massive hailstones coming down as well so we'll see what we'll see what happens there but yeah we're literally in the heart of this storm now but we're all kind of all these cars are sticking together we've got our eyes fixed on the road we know that there's nothing coming up in our lane Oh, well, I'm happy to report we've made it back here to our hotel safely. We didn't get any more footage there because literally Charlotte had to keep her eyes on the road as well. Honestly, I cannot believe that. We literally saw like strikes of lightning coming down. It was so scary. We saw something get struck by a lightning very close to us and like a, a fireball in the distance line that kind of lit up the sky. Uh, it was crazy. And then the rain really did come down. Here's me saying, oh, it wasn't hammering it down. It did. It really was. There was no point in us getting any more filming at that point. You wouldn't have seen anything. It was priority was just staying safe. Luckily, we made it back and we literally came off the main road about half a mile from the hotel and we saw the biggest strike of lightning very close, didn't we? It just like came down. Oh my God, Ooh. it was so scary. But we're back here in the room. Safe. That's the scariest drive I've ever done. Like We've just done like 65 miles in a thunderstorm. But you know what? We made it back. That's the main thing. I tell you what, we're getting all the drama in this travel vlog, aren't we? We had the car breakdown. We've had a big storm. Um, obviously, this could possibly impact the next two final days of the trip. We don't know at this point. I mean, parks 
could be closed because of the storm. Tomorrow was looking stormy anyway for Six Flags America. Then of course we've got Six Flags Great Adventure, which is looking all right at the moment yeah, weather-wise. Um, but we'll see what happens um, tomorrow and we'll give you an update in the morning. We have got a backup plan. If not, there is somewhere else that we can go and visit, indoor theme park, uh, we can go and do instead. But we'll see what happens. We're gonna get some sleep, get some rest. We're back safe, that's the main thing. But blimey, that was some footage there, wasn't it? Well, good morning. We're back on the road after the storm last night. Yeah, it continued on well into the early hours of the morning. Um, we heard the thunder, we saw the lightning flashing through the curtains. But you know what? I'm just really pleased it was safe because that drive last night was pretty scary, wasn't it? It was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, never uh, had to drive through conditions quite like that before. But, you know, we just wanted to carry on and I'm glad that we did. We made it back to the hotel uh, safe and sound. Anyway, we've checked the park social media and website today nothing's been said about the park not opening weather is um, all right I mean the humidity has dropped a lot um, but as you can see it's quite cloudy not really sunny um, or anything this morning now it's looking like it's gonna get stormy again but possibly not until two three o'clock mid afternoon yeah. park opens at 11 it's just gone 10 past 9 and we're making our way to the park we're gonna be there for about 5 to 11 so just for park opening um, obviously it's a first time visit here as well for both of us I've never been to this park we've got to so. try and rush around and just get in as much as we can yeah we'll see what happens really but if the park's open great we'll go in order of priority list and we'll kind of go from there so yeah if there's anything along the way we'll uh, show you so we're about 17 miles away now from the park and uh, yeah we just crossed over into Maryland yeah just went over a bridge over the river and uh, yeah not really been much to show you along the way so far just some long rows we had loads of lanes at some points didn't we along so there. many there was like six lanes yeah it was crazy but uh, yeah we're not too far from the park weather is looking all right at the moment mm. so we'll see what happens Right then, we're really not too sure what's happened these past couple of bridges. We're getting all the drama today. So on a bridge a few miles back, we've got all these what look to be fire trucks and firemen standing up there on the bridge. And then it's also happening here as well. But we thought at first maybe, you know, someone was unfortunately trying to jump off. But yeah, it's really weird. They're it's all... very distracting for drivers. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's the fire department. I think it's a strike. It looks to me like a strike, but they weren't just standing on the edge of that one. But on the bridge a little there bit further back. There was literally stood back, on the edge. Right on the edge, about 10 firefighters and all the trucks with the lights flashing. And now we've seen it on another bridge on this same road. Definitely looks like a strike going on. But yeah, that was very distracting, especially the first one. Um, Everyone was breaking because we didn't yeah, know what was going on. Yeah, crazy that. Yeah, I reckon it, it must be a strike going on there. And here we go, we've arrived here at Six Flags America. And yeah, weather's looking okay at the moment. It does, nice and sunny. Yeah, it is, yeah, nice Hand sign right. over there. Does then it make our way? Right up onto the parking lot just here. I've not seen any skyline or anything yet for this one. So nothing. Yeah, I've obviously never been to this park before. But yeah, of course, with it being Six Flags Park, we've got our passes, which means we're saving $35 on parking already. If you're doing multiple Six Flags parks, even maybe just two, it's well worth getting the passes because they are pretty cheap. Um, yeah, let's go and get pulled up and we'll see the skyline Turn for the park. Left. And we're all parked up and yeah, it's really weird because you can't see any coasters or rides or anything on the skyline. A couple of water slides off to the left there. Obviously never been to this park before. Looks like we're in for another hot day though, doesn't it Charlotte? Oh, no, it feels really hot this morning. Yeah, very humid, but that's the thing. The storm may come in later, but at the moment it seems all right. Oh and yeah, we're just making our way down the pedestrian walkway to the main entrance. Right, we'll see you all later on. Well, we'll continue on with this travel vlog. Oh, there we go. That's Superman. <laughs> Well, we had our day Being at Six Flags feet. America. Right. And yeah, you know what? We managed to get round and get everything at the park, didn't we, Charlotte? So it was really pleased. And then the storm came in. In fact, the storm came in earlier in the day. We weighed it out, and you know what? It was more than worth it, wasn't it? To we get got things so in. much in. We're really pleased. Yeah, anyway, we've got a couple of hour journey up to our accommodation. We're going to be staying about 90 minutes away from our final park, Six Flags Great Adventure, where we're going to be tomorrow. Keep right onto Rossback Road. There we go. Oh, we'll just keep him right there, are we? There we go. And uh, yeah, obviously we've got some busy traffic because we left the park a little bit earlier because the storm came in again. We thought rides probably aren't going to reopen. Miles. Um, so what we're doing now right is avoiding rush hour traffic, I think, because yeah, the road looks the very busy. Yeah, so I mean, it's stormy again. It's just been on the radio that uh, lightning. We've seen a bit in the distance again, um, but yeah, nowhere near like last night. But uh, yeah, we're just trying to avoid the traffic at the moment so we're on some smaller roads like i said i use the satellite navigation app called waze 
and uh, he's really good at trying to avoid traffic. He, obviously, you don't have to have it on that setting, but for me, I'd rather be on these smaller roads moving a bit more um, than be on the uh, the busy roads in traffic because, yeah, it's 20 to 5 in the evening, and uh, yeah, we're going to be getting rush hour. We're near to Washington, you know, the capital, so obviously, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be busy. We're planning to actually go into Washington tonight and uh, to go have a look at the White House, but the weather's just that terrible. We just don't want to be out. Yeah, and it would have been about a 40 minute kind of detour um, to head down there. I would have liked to have done it. I mean, I've seen it before. I uh, would have liked to have gone down there and got some more footage, but yeah, with the weather, wouldn't have been ideal. So we'll get some more footage along the way and uh, as we make our way towards tonight's accommodation, which is the Ramada we're staying at tonight. There we go. We got the Valhalla indoor axe thrown over there. Valhalla, everybody. <laughs> it's quite funny, isn't it? Now, I just want to say, we've been stuck in this traffic for about 30 minutes. We've had hundreds of cars come next to us here, driving in a red X lane. Like, I can't like, believe it. This lane it. is closed, and all these are just coming down in a red <laughs> X. Yeah, like, you wouldn't get away with that back home. Where's no, the wouldn't. sheriff when you You'd need them? You'd be fined for yeah, it. Yeah, really dangerous as well. Like, this red X, it's probably been up for about two miles, I'd say. And um, no one's listening yeah, to no it. Yeah, no one's listening. Everyone's just come down. So, yeah, I'm making a stand. No one's coming in front of me to stay. Like, you know, I've been waiting in this traffic for a very long time. And here we go then, so yeah, this is actually a toll road and yeah, we've gone down into the two lanes now. Look at this, just a massive bridge. It's actually two bridges by the looks of it, at least at this point, because yeah, we're on the one, of course, heading over this side and that's completely separate, but not joined. You'd have thought it would have been easier and like less construction costs to have made it all joined together, wouldn't yeah, you really? Yeah, think so. Look at all the ships just out there as well, lots of cargo ships by the looks of it. And of course, yeah, making our way over this massive bridge look at the size of this this is like the dark we're crossing on the next level like oh my god crazy it's actually a suspension bridge in the middle too they're all built on like these big footers yeah really interesting i've not really seen a bridge quite like this before and there you go there's a better angle how strange is this they built two bridges surely that was like double the foundations double the cost like, i found that really fascinating like that's all this channel is about is documenting different things and back when it was adventure show and used to have a lot of bridges on here oh, look at this like this is really weird that does i mean there's got to be some reason why they've done that well obviously we're climbing up to the highest point now onto the suspension bridge to allow the ships and boats to pass underneath but let's find that really fascinating how they designed it because surely they could have just done a four across like four lane bridge like i really do not understand that. I've never seen one quite like that before. Let's have a look online, do a bit of research. But yeah, there you go. Well, after I drive there, we stopped off for a little bit of food along the way. Had another Chick-fil-A. Got to make the most of it whilst we're here in the States. And uh, yeah, along with that, we've arrived here at our accommodation. We're staying in Delaware tonight. And uh, yeah, in Christiana, down here at the Ramada Hotel. And what have you got there, Charlotte? <laughs> What's this here? We've just been and bought it because we've run out of waters. This is like one dollar twenty, so we just went for this big one. We thought we don't want to get loads of bottles because obviously the car goes back tomorrow night. So we thought we'll just get this. There we go. Normally it'd be like an emotional goodbye to a car after so long, but we only had this one a few days. You've got to laugh about it now. But a uh, yeah, major complaint incoming when we get to the Definitely. desk. Um, but uh, yeah, here's a look at the uh, room just here. Yeah, it's very bright with the wall just over there. I do prefer my hotel room with the carpets. This one has got a wooden floor, but still, it's quite nice, still, isn't it? I was very happy because I've managed to get the washing in. I've yes. got a massive bag of washing on, so I'm going to have to take it home. I've managed to get the washing in, so I've just got to dry it. Yeah, it's worked out better for us, that, hasn't Much it? Much better, because in the meantime, I've got to go home with loads of washing. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, nice big bed, loads of pillars, got the TV just over there. This is our penultimate room tour. Uh, internet's a bit slower here, but uh, yeah, it's still upload speed's all right. To be honest, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with how I've managed to get so much uploaded whilst we've been yeah, out here. Yeah, done really well. Yeah, fantastic. We've got some old pictures just over here. Look at that. I don't know if that's the area of Christiana. Well, we are. It's a bit of a different layout, this one. You kind of come around the corner, microwave, coffee maker, and the fridge. And there you go. There's the bath just down there. The toilets, loads of towels. And there's all the sink area just over there. Sure, there's no hair dryer. I've just found it bagged up. Oh, it's round here, is it? Fantastic. What's it doing around there? It's hung up on a coat hanger. Is it? Oh, there you go. That's Real. good then. Fantastic. Well, the good news is we're only one hour and 20 minute drive away from our final part, number 25 tomorrow, Six Flags Great Adventure. We'll get some footage along the way. And of course, it's got a great skyline, this park. It's home to the tallest roller coaster in the world, Kinder Car. Oh, oh no. <laughs> hoping that we get it because it has been down it has been tested but it hasn't reopened since. so the cable snapped like three weeks ago no. it's been testing for three or four days now 
it's not open, so we re I don't think we'll get it. Anything's possible. It could have reopened tomorrow. Like, who yes. knows? But we're going to see it tomorrow. The world's tallest roller coaster. Oh, look at it. It's like 70 miles away from where we are. So, good night. We will see you all in the morning. We've got a few hours to have a chill out tonight. It's now like 8 o'clock. Yeah, uh, have a chill out, do the washing, and we'll see you all in the morning. Well, here we go. I can't believe we're at this point. We're making our way to our final theme park of the trip, Six Flags Great Adventure. Feeling really refreshed though, considering it's the end of the trip, Charlotte. I oh, know, I slept really well last night. Yeah, we've had some really good sleep. There's only been one or two nights where we've not slept that well throughout the whole trip, uh, which has been great. And it's kept us pretty fresh, really, considering how many parks and uh, days we've done in a row. Done a lot. Well, we really have. But uh, yeah, we've got the one hour, 20 minute journey showing us this morning. We just got on the road down to the park and uh, yeah about 80 miles so maybe a little bit of traffic we're going to be there about 25 minutes or so before park opening which is at 11 a.m but i tell you what what an incredible adventure i mean it's been action-packed and especially this travel <laughs> vlog you know there was nearly a point where we might have had to cut one or maybe two parks out you know uh with all the issues but yeah this is it last day of having the car today in terms of this travel vlog we're going to uh, of course drop off the car we'll let you know how that goes yeah uh, and then we're going to um get the public transport from the airport Newark where we started a month ago um, back into New York itself um, yeah about a half an hour train ride into New York and we're actually staying in a hotel in Times Square and that's where we'll wrap up this travel vlog of course then there's going to be a separate sightseeing video um, from New York itself we've got a full day doing a bit of exploring and seeing a few things but uh, here we go making our way down are we going to get King to car or not probably not oh I really not. hope so um, but we've, I haven't got my hopes so. up yeah you never know there is a chance it has been testing even yesterday but we'll see what happens um, as we make our way um, back into New Jersey where this trip all began so we're now making our way up onto the Delaware Memorial Bridge. And yeah, as you can see, this is another bridge where they've actually built two separate structures instead of it just being one. Like, really interesting that. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just because of how wide the road is. I mean, this one has got four lanes. There's only two in use. I'm not too sure why, but uh, yeah, it's probably four lanes on the other side. So maybe just to take the weight and stress the, uh, you know, built two bridges. We yeah, are quite interesting. I feel like I've seen this bridge before in a movie, but I'm not too sure. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's the, oh, it's the Delaware Memorial Bridge. We'll have to um, have a bit of research into that one. And here we are, back where it started one, one month ago. Use Welcome back to, to New Jersey. Ride. And just coming into view, the world's tallest roller coaster. Oh my God. Kinder car just over there. Absolutely crazy just to see that again, that beast. I've not been on it since 2019. Probably not going to be riding it today. Well, I've never but, been oh, on it. I did just see a train go over the top, I'm sure. Unless it was just me dreaming of it actually opening today. But you never know. I'm positive that I just saw a train crash Exit over the to top. Exit the right there. onto Six Flags Hurricane Harbour. Here we go, making our way into the car park for Six Flags Great Adventure, part number 25. We've done it, Charlotte. Here oh we no, are. we've done it. I can't believe it. Part number 25 of the trip. Let's move to the left of that cyclist. Have a bit of space. There we go. Welcome. We're going to get parked up. And yeah, we'll show you more of the skyline. Here we go, just coming around the corner, and that was it. It One is, it's second. testing. Yeah, we've just seen it again, King of the Car. Oh, come on. I mean, obviously, they're going to have to do the testing to make sure that it's safe after the cable replacement, but I it's love early. How, there it is. Oh, it is early wow. on. I love how you get this dramatic kind of view <laughs> as you pull into the car park. Look at the airtime held us there for it. Uh, it's massive. <laughs> Absolutely huge. But here we go, Six Flags Great Adventure. And we're all parked up down here. We actually get preferred parking with our Diamond Pass, which is great. And yeah, there's a look at the awesome skyline for this park. You've got the flying coaster here. And of course, King Dakar, the world's tallest coaster over there at the back. He's been cycling loads. We've seen it go around about 10 times since just pulling onto the car park. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. But there we go. We'll see you all later on, where of course you'll find out if you went on it or not. Um, but yeah, we're here, final park of the trip. And yeah, there it goes again. Oh, Charlotte's so excited. I mean, you never know, anything's possible. It's been cycling for about a week now, testing. The uh, launch cable is replaced. Let's see what happens. We'll see you all later on where we're going to take the hire car back and make our way to New York City. 
Well, we've had an awesome day at Six Flags Great Adventure. Unfortunately, as you may have seen in the vlog over on Theme Park Worldwide, we didn't get to ride King Dakar. However, we had a great day here anyway. The ops have been great. And of course, head over to Theme Park Worldwide uh, to see the vlog. Yeah, that's it. We've done all 25 parts, Charlotte. We have, but we didn't get it. Oh, out. no, this is a great shot though of you with the car here and the world's tallest coaster right behind us there on the parking lot but uh, fantastic we're about to say goodbye to this car we've only had it for a few days but we're saying goodbye to it and uh, we've got about an hour drive now back to where we all started one month ago newark liberty international airport where we're going to be dropping off this car of course we're going to be uh, making a complaint about the issues that we've had we, we try not to let it affect the past few days though we just got on with it haven't we we'll be doing a complaint we'd like to tell you about the car but i don't even know what brand it is yeah like it's been a pretty good drive i tell you what though the temperature settings are really hard to work out um, but we're going to drop this off and then once we've got all that sorted of course we'll let you know how that goes and then we're going to get on some public transportation something we've not done for the whole trip other than a parking trolley at a couple of parks and yeah we're going to make our way into new york city we're staying literally in five minute walk from times square oh, tonight Nice. We've got a couple of days in New York City and of course a full vlog with lots of sights coming up for you to stay tuned for. Well there you go, New York City starting to come into view there in the distance. The final 10 miles of what has been a nearly 4,500 mile big circle tour around America. Honestly I'm feeling quite emotional actually tonight, the fact it's coming to an end but what a way to wrap it up with a full sightseeing day in New York tomorrow and like I say we're going to have a full dedicated video from the sites coming up here on the Sandbrook Adventures. It's going to be fantastic but uh, what a trip Charlotte. Oh it's been absolutely brilliant. Seen and done so much along the way and yeah we're literally 10 minutes away now from the airports where we're going to drop off the car and of course make our way into New York City, the Big Apple. Well, Charlotte, even arranged Keep fireworks for the US us. Oh, look at those fireworks. fireworks. Hey, what a way to uh, yeah, bring us back into the airport, just uh, fireworks. Right then, so we just dropped off the car at the budget desk. And uh, yeah, it didn't really go that well. To be honest, we didn't really get the proper answers that we deserve. So I will be making a major complaint. And also, I'll say to you all, if you're thinking of hiring a budget car, I probably wouldn't unless you want to get stranded for nine hours. Um, but still, we did speak to a manager. And yeah, they also tried to charge be $153 for the recovery vehicle. Like, I can't believe it, absolutely shocking. But yeah, luckily that soon got reversed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be making a major complaint, but uh, there you go. I would not use budget, that's my best advice for you all. Uh, anyway, we're literally here now on the monorail system and we just left uh, the uh, car area. We're making our way to the train station where we're gonna get on the train, the New Jersey Transit. It's gonna take about half an hour and that's gonna take us right into um, New York City itself. We're staying right by Times Square we're going to get off at Pennsylvania Station and then it's going to be about a 10 minute walk around to our hotel where we're staying tonight. But uh, yeah, it didn't go too well, but you know what? Uh, it's a good job that uh, we spoke to him tonight, not a few nights ago, because yeah, uh, we were so stressed the other day about it all. Uh, I think it's better just writing it all in an email. We've got all the photos and everything that we need. And uh, yeah, we can do a follow up from there. But uh, I'm really excited to get back into New York City, have a bit of an explore around and uh, see what the city has to offer. Yeah, it's been a good few years since I was there. So I'm looking forward to it. Literally feel like I'm on the Alton Towers monorail there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you can see how the windows on this one, but uh, here we go, no car, that's it, we're all done. Oh, no, got to carry everything. Public transport now. But uh, yeah, we're just pulling into the station round here. I think it's another monorail. Yeah, we'll see you on the New Jersey Transit. It's a straight direct journey though, which is yeah, good. Really We've good. not got a change or anything. In fact, let me just quickly show you this. So yeah, we was down here and yeah, we were just following this round. It's a free service at the airport and heading to the New Jersey Transit and Amtrak station is there as well. So we just got off the little monorail there and yeah, it drops you off straight here to the train station, which is located very close to the airport. Yeah, only a short ride from the terminals. And yeah, we've just been up to the ticket machines where we've purchased a ticket. It was $15 for an adult each way, taking us down to Penn Station in New York. I think it's about a 30 minute journey, something like That's that. not too bad then. Yeah, it was pretty easy though that was to work out yeah, really. You just typed in the station that you want and then you paid and then your ticket popped out. Yeah, what's a little bit different to back home is the screens and kind of how it's done because yeah, I'll just show you the screen just up there. And it kind of works instead of platform, it says track number. So as you can see, we're getting on a track number A, or letter A rather, just there in one minute. And that's to New York Sec, as it says just on there. Yeah, it's pretty easy. The train should be pulling in just a moment. Yeah, just a little bit different with the screens there. Doesn't really list off 
all the stops. I don't know if it will do when it pulls in or not, but obviously normally it'll tell you the final destination, so to speak, on trains back home and in Europe and a lot of other places, and then list off all the different stops. But like I say, it might do that when the train actually pulls in. Double-decker train on the New Jersey Transit. Here we are on the train, yeah, nice and easy to get on just there. Step free access from the platform, and here's a look. So you've got the seats down there, some at the top. You know, this little area here, which is perfect for if you got luggage. I thought it was going to be a lot busier, actually. Yeah, uh, when you've got luggage, it's always a worry when you go on the train. Yeah, it's actually, uh, oh, <laughs> you're going for a little ride. It's actually the last of a journey than I thought. It's about 20 minutes from that station. The beauty is, though, um, like we haven't really got to lug the case about for much at all, which is great. the hotel and then walk back to the train station. Yeah, obviously we've got the full day in New York, a full evening, and then we're going to be uh, travelling back the day after that and making our way to the uh, airport. Well, there we go, so you've got the screen just up there telling you the next stop. There is another Penn station, so you've got to make sure you don't go to that one. <laughs> Sorry for the abrupt ending on that clip just there. Literally, the ticket inspector came down. He's like, yeah, have you got your ticket? I was expecting him to scan it or stamp it or clip the ticket. And yeah, he just grabbed it off me and he's gone. There you go. I hope he's genuine, not the stealing ticket. That really funny. He just literally went, and then walked off. I was expecting that. Anyway, yeah, about 10, 15 minutes, we'll be there, sit back, relax, and we'll see you when we get into New York City. And here we go, we've arrived here in our hotel room, and yeah, we'll talk more about that in just a moment. But firstly, the journey from the airport was good, wasn't it? It didn't take too long at all. Yeah, nice and easy there, um, on the train. And then of course, yeah, we walked about 10 minutes with the cases, which isn't ideal. It was a bit hard, because all the road just kept going all jagged. <laughs> yeah, like all down the side on the sidewalks. And but it was busy. It was very, very busy. But uh, here we go, welcome to our room. We're staying at the TBA uh, Times Square. Uh, Times Square is literally like a five to seven minute walk um, around the corner. We've actually just been around there, had a McDonald's because we were starving, weren't oh, we? It was absolutely crazy uh, around there. It was, uh, but uh, yeah, you never forget your first time seeing Times no, Square. No, no, it was something quite special. Yeah, it's just something completely different. It's busy, it's like it's gone midnight and it's heaving still it's around absolutely there. Absolutely packed. Crazy, but uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up this uh, travel vlog shortly to sort of give you a tour of the room. We've got a massive bed. Look at the size of that. Fantastic. And yeah, the headboard at the back. Of course, we're staying, you know, right in the heart of it all here. So it's not cheap. It was about $200 a night for this room, um, but you pay for the location, really. Um, and yeah, it's an executive room that we've got just here. It's nice. It's got a nice sofa. Mm, yeah, I like that. Sofa down there. I think this is brand new. It smells brand new. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and the whole room is really fresh. There's the TV, coffee making facilities over there. You can't really see loads of the view at night just out here. But uh, yeah, we're actually on the 19th floor. So what's that, about 190 foot up? You can see over towards Times Square, um, just off to the right there, where all the lights are. So yeah, we're in a really good location. Perfect for our action-packed sightseeing day. But coming up, what we got around here? Here we go. Bathroom. You don't like how the mirror moves across. That a ride system there, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look inside here. Shower over there. This is fancy. It's got a very nice mirror in it. It's like the one in our house, this is. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I didn't turn. Hey, it's there got we two go. Buttons, but I don't know what the other one does. Maybe the other one's a Bluetooth speaker, is it? I mean, ours is at home, but I don't know. Or is it I like. Don't know ah, maybe, because it's like a line. Is it to like, um, not defrost it, but stop it getting uh, steamed up? So, that's yeah. it. I was saying defrost it. It's yeah. having a shower. Toilet just down there. And there you go, that's TBA Times Square. Yeah, nice room. Like, you know, I'm really pleased that the location's great. It means all we've got to do is walk 10 minutes back with the luggage. And then of course, yeah, uh, we'll be uh, on our way back to the UK after a couple of nights here. Oh, you're not sleeping there. You need to let me in. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, it's been quite the travel vlog this one, hasn't it? Our fifth and final one from the trip. And uh, yeah, certainly had the most drama in this one, haven't Honestly, we? Honestly, we've had the car breakdown, <laughs> the car being towed away, then we had that massive storm. Yeah, we've had everything, <laughs> haven't we? But uh, you know what, we still made it into the end. We did all 25 theme parks. We've arrived here in New York, safe and sound, and still feeling pretty fresh, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be nice to have a chill out for a few days when we get home, but we're not absolutely shattered, are we? No, which we're is not, good. which is really good. And it's a good job, because we've got an action-packed day in New York. 
York City tomorrow, the Big Apple, and of course that'll be the next vlog uh, coming up here on the Sandbrook Adventures. And if you head over to the theme park worldwide, you can see all of the different vlogs, of course, from our trip there, all the 25 theme parks that we've visited. And I, and I hope that you've enjoyed it on this channel. A bit of a behind the scenes look at everything we've been doing, really. We've loved it, we've had so many laughs. And we have had some laughs, and of course we had a bit of stress in this one with we the did. car. Um, but you know what? We got the parks done in the end. We got a replacement car, and that's the main thing. We lost about half a day in a park at King's Dominion. Uh, it could have been a lot worse than that. We're safe. That's the main thing. And of course, we'll be uh, given a major complaint to <laughs> budget. Wouldn't recommend them at all. But, uh, not. Yeah, he pretty much like laughed in our face. He literally laughed in my face. Yeah, I was like, what? It, it wasn't great customer service. But uh, there we go. Of course, it's been a fantastic trip. It really has. And we're going to wrap it up with a full day uh, in New York here on the channel. So. Uh, of course stay tuned for that uh, and if you haven't already make sure you check out the four previous travel vlogs a long time ago charlotte did the packing video as well that feels Ooh. like so long ago yeah all the videos of course building up to this trip and what an adventure it's been but uh, there we go thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your own adventures. adventures we'll see you in new york <laughs>